English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Page 103, exercise 6, grammar focus. WH questions with did, was, and were. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. What did your father do there? He worked in a bank. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Where were you born? I was born in Dallas. When were you born? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18. What was your major in college? Drama. I was an actor for five years. Grammar Focus. WH Questions with Dad. Where did you grow up? What did you what did your father do there? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? So hair we use what we use dead in question. This is simple past. Where did you grow up? Dead subject grew up main verb. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Grew a regular verb. Grew up, O, present, past, E, grew up. What did your father do there? He worked in the bank, worked, E, D. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to LA? I came, came, verb in the past. Come, present, past, came, a regular verb. I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. I needed ED. I needed the money. So here we use dead in question. Question word where, what, when, why. Dead. Subject. Main verb. Infinitive. Main verb. Grow up. Do. Come, become. This is WH questions with dead. He worked. I needed ED. Regular verb. A regular verb. I grow up. I came. The regular. Come, came. WH questions. With was and where. Where. Where were you born? When. When were you born? How old? How old were you in 2000? Where. When. Where. Subject born. In the answer. Where were you born? I was. I was born in Dallas. When were you born? When time? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18 years old. WH questions with was. What was your major in college? Drama. 
Drama was my major in college. I was an actor for five years. So here, what was? Question word, what? Was subject, your major. What was your major in college? What was it? It was drama. I was an actor for five years. How, what, when, why, who, was, was he, was she, was it. Where, were we, were you, were they. Where, we, you, they. In the answer, subject was where. Now oh, it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is past tense questions with did, was, or were. Okay, so in a past tense question, we need to use did or was or were. So when do we use did and when do we use was and were? Well, first, did we use for questions about action. Action. So, was we use for questions about description. So what's the difference between a question about action and a question about description? Well, let's look at this example. The verb, grow up. Grow up is this action. And if I want to ask a question about this action, I need to use did. For example, where did you grow up? So, when I use the verb, the action, when I ask a question about the verb or the action, I need to use did for the auxiliary. So did is only for verbs when I use a verb in the question. Now, was and were is different because it's a question about description. So if I want to know your house location when you were young, I would use was and were because it's a question about a description. So I'd say, where was your house? Where was your house? Now, notice when I use was or were, there is no other verb in the question. It's the only verb. This is not a question about action. It's a question about description. So was and were are the only verbs. Remember, did is for action. So we use did when we ask a question about the verb, about the action. Where did you grow up? And was and were are questions about description. It's the only verb in the question. For example, where was your house? Very good. So be careful. Remember, when we use was, it's only for the subjects I, he, she, and it, the singular subjects. And with the subjects you, we, and they, the plural subjects, we use were. Another thing to think about is that when we use the verb be in the past tense, we do not use did. Did and be are never in the same sentence. No. So, in the past tense question, you cannot use did when the main verb is be. We use the past tense of be. Were you in class yesterday? And it's the only verb in the sentence. Very good. Okay, so now it's time to practice. To practice, use did or was or were to finish the question. For example, where did you live before you came here? The question is about the verb live, the action. 
So we use did. Where did you live before you came here? Repeat. Where A. Match the questions with the answers. Then compare with the partner. In this exercise, you match 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with A, B, C, D, E, F. 1. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Number 1. E. 2. Where did you grow up? 2. Where did you grow up? Number two, D. I grew up in Tokyo. Where? Tokyo. Grew up, infinitive here, question. Grew up, E, the past. Grew up, grew up. Three. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Scary, frightening. Yes. Frightening, I was afraid. So number three, F. Four. Who was your first friend in school? Four. Who was your first friend in school? A. Her name was Yumiko. Yumiko. So number four, A. Five. What was he like? What was she like? What was his character? What was her character? Tell me about him or her. 5. B. She was really friendly. What was she like? She was really friendly. B. 6. Why did you take this class? Why did you take this class? Why? I need reason. C. I wanted to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. I took this class because I wanted to improve my English. The answers number one E. Two. D. Three. F. Four. A. 5, B, 6, C. Again, 1, E, 2, D, 3, F, 4, A, 5, B, 6, C. B, per work. Ask and answer the questions in part A. Use your own information. Where were you born? I was born in Egypt, Cairo. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Giza. How was your first day of school? It was horrible. I didn't like to go to school. Who was your friend who was your first friend in school? Ehab was my first friend in school. What was he like? He was nice, kind, and generous. Why did you take this class? I took this class because I like to learn English. See? This is part C. Group work, ask the questions. Use a year in your answers. So here in this exercise, in this exercise, you have to say a year, like saying years. How can I read years? 1906. 1906. 1980. 1986. 2000. 2000. 2001 2001 2010 1906 
86. Here 2000. 2001. 2001. 20, 10. 20, 20, 10. Or 2000 and 10. 2000 and 10. 1. When were you born? I was born in 1977. I was born in 1977. When was your father born? My father was born in 1934. 1934. When was your mother born? My mom was born in 1954. 1954. When did you turn 13? In which year did you become 13 years old? I was 13 years old, I turned it 13 years old in 1990. 1990. When did you start high school? I started high school in 1993. When did you begin to study English? I began to study English in 1989 I began to study English in 1989 Exercise number 7 Lesson when were these people born? Complete the first column of the chart. Now here, this is the first column. And B, listen again. Where did these people grow up? So this is when and where. You will listen two times. You should listen two times. And then you write when, the year, where, the place. Page 103, Exercise 7, Listening. When was she born? Part A. Listen. When were these people born? Complete the first column of the chart. 1. Jill. My name is Jill. I was born in 1984. I was born in Canada, but I grew up in the United States. I went to school there. I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. Listen again to number one. Jill. My name is Jill. I was born in 1984. I was born in Canada, but I grew up in the United States. I went to school there. I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. Number 1. Jill. When was Jill born? Jill was born in 1984. 1984. When? 1984. Where did Jill grow up? Jill grew up in the USA in the USA. So Jill was born in 1984 in Canada, but she grew up in the USA. She worked as a tour guide. 2. Roger. I'm Roger. I grew up in the UK and I live there now, but I was born in South Africa. 
I was born there in 1993. I'm a student, and I'm going to be a doctor someday. Two. Roger. I'm Roger. I grew up in the UK, and I live there now. But I was born in South Africa. I was born there in 1993. I'm a student, and I'm going to be a doctor someday. Roger, Roger, Roger. When was he born? He was born in 1993. Where did he grow up? He grew up in the UK, the UK, the United Kingdom, England. Where was he born? Joe was born in South Africa. Why did he travel to the UK? He's a student. He will be a doctor. So when? 1993. Where? The UK. Three. Bianca. My name is Bianca, and I live in Spain, but I wasn't born there. I was born in Mexico in 1965. I moved to Spain in 1967 and grew up there. I'm a reporter for a local Spanish language TV station. Three, Bianca. My name is Bianca, and I live in Spain, but I wasn't born there. I was born in Mexico. In 1965, I moved to Spain in 1967 and grew up there. I'm a reporter for a local Spanish language TV station. Bianca, when was she born? Bianca was born in 1965. 1965. Where? Where was she born? She was born in Mexico. But where did she grow up? She grew up in Spain. So Bianca, 1965, Spain. She grew up in Spain. She works for local TV station. She works for a local TV station as a television host, a television reporter. She works as a reporter. Four. Ahmed. I'm Ahmed. I'm an architect. I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt and moved to France last year. But I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. Four. Ahmed. I'm Ahmed. I'm an architect. I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt and moved to France last year. But I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. Number four, Ahmed. Where was Ahmed born? He was born in 1974. 1974. Where did he grow up? He grew up in Egypt. He was born in Egypt. But he traveled to France. Last year he traveled to France. What's his job? He's an architect. An architect and engineer. Again, Ahmed. When? 1974. Where? Egypt. Exercise number eight, word power. In this exercise, you complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. Here you have different words. You get the words and write them in this word map in these sections. School days, you have classes, schools, places. Schools, what kinds of schools? 
classes, periods, the subjects, places, the cafeteria. Cafeteria, classroom, college, college, university, faculty, computer lab, lab for computers, elementary school, elementary school, primary school, high school, high school, secondary school, history, junior high school, junior high school, prep school, library, library, a place to borrow box, math, math, mathematics, physical education, PE, science, school days, Let's get number one, okay. What about classes, the subjects? We have here for classes, but we can have history, math, science, physical education. So classes, science, physical education, math, History, history, math, physical education, science. Schools, schools, we have college, elementary school, high school, junior high school. In order, elementary school, junior high school, high school, college. Places. What are the places in the school? In the school we have classroom, computer lab, library, 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 computer lab, classroom, cafeteria. Exercise number eight, the answers. Page 104, exercise eight, word power. Part A, complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools, college, elementary school, high school, junior high school, places, cafeteria, classroom, computer lab, library. B. Pair work. This is between you and your friend. Find out about your partner's elementary, junior high, or high school days. Ask these questions until the class. Here, you ask your friend questions about the school. Example. This is, what classes did you take? What classes did you take? In elementary school, I took math, science, English, Arabic. What was your favorite class? What was your favorite subject? English was my favorite subject. Why? Because I was an excellent student. What classes didn't you like? Why not? I didn't like science. It was difficult. Who was your best friend? Ahab was my best friend. 
Ahmed Hamdi was my best friend. Who was your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher was Mr. Talat because he was funny. Where did you spend your free time? Why? I spent my free time in the club. I played football. What was a typical day of school like? It was wonderful. I started at 7 o'clock in the morning. I finished at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. What didn't you like about school? The school was far for me because I was a child. I was seven years old. I have to walk to school. So in elementary school, Dan spent his free time in the library because he liked to read. So can you make sentences? You ask your friend the questions. Your friend asks you these questions about your school days. Exercise number nine. Exercise number nine. Look at the picture. What do you see? Students, boys, girls, young men, young ladies, desks, chairs, tables, blackboard, board. Blackboard So What do you remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? A. Group work How often does this English class meet? How often? How many times? What do you remember from your last class? Ask and answer these questions 1. Who was in class? Who wasn't there? 2. In my class, there were 5 students. 3. Who wasn't there? Ibrahim wasn't there. Question number two. Were you early, late, or on time? I was early. Where did you sit? Sit, sit down. Last class, I sat in the middle in front of my teacher. In the middle, in front of my teacher. What did you talk about? I talked about how to speak English well. We talked about fruit, vegetables. I learned, I learned different things about my classmates. My classmates came to learn English for work. What words did you learn? I learned different words about fruit, vegetables, work, and jobs. Did you have any homework? Yes, I did. What did you do after class? After the class, I went home, exercise number 11, reading. Look at the picture. What do you see in this picture? We have a different box. A lot of box. A young lady. What 
where does she work? Maybe she works in a library, a bookstore. A bookstore is a place to sell books. Maybe it's a library. It's a place where you borrow books. What's her story? Let's listen. Turning pain to gain. How can you change pain? Someone who's feeling pain to gain to something good, something bad to something good. Now, scan the article. Why does McKinsey read all the time? Just let's listen now to McKinsey. Why does she read? Page 105, Exercise 11, Reading, Turning Pain to Gain. Seven years ago, Mackenzie Barrup hurt her knee. She was just 10 years old. A week later, the pain was still there. The pain didn't stop. Then she found out about a disease called RSD. This disease tells the brain her knee is still injured even though it isn't. There is no cure for the pain. Her knee feels terrible all the time. Sometimes, Mackenzie felt so awful that she stayed in bed for months. It was very difficult to walk. Her doctors tried everything, medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Nothing worked, except books. Mackenzie read lots of books. The books helped her stop thinking about the pain and she decided to help other children forget their pain, too. She found out about a treatment center for children nearby. The center had a new library, but no books. She asked all her friends and her parents' friends to give books. Then she put ads in newspapers and made a website. Mackenzie's goal was to give 300 books to the library, but she soon had 3,000 books, and more were on the way, Today, that number is more than 40,000. She started an organization. Sheltering Books now helps children in many states in the U.S. Mackenzie's knee still hurts all the time, but she feels better because she's helping other kids with their pain. Mackenzie, why does Mackenzie read all the time? This is the story of Mackenzie. Seven years ago, in the past, Mackenzie Birup hurt, Birup hurt her knee. Knee? Her knee got hurt a lot. She was just 10 years old. A week later, the pain was still there. The pain didn't stop. Then she found out, she discovered about a disease called RSD. The disease tells the brain her knee is still injured, even though it isn't. There is no cure for the pain. There is no medical treatment for this pain. Her knee feels terrible. Her knee was too bad all the time. So here Mackenzie she had a very big problem with her knee and she was only 10 years old although she has medical treatment her knee was still hurt what was the problem she found out she discovered the disease it's called RSD disease the disease tells the brain that her knee is still injured even though it hadn't this is a very big problem it's a very rare disease there's no cure for the pain her knee feels terrible all the time now let's ask some questions when was Mackenzie's knee got injured when she was 10 years old. Did the pain stop? No, it didn't. 
what caused what caused this pain a disease called RSD RSD disease is there a cure for RSD disease no the reddit how does McKinsey feel she felt terrible she feels terrible all the time she feels too bad sometimes McKinsey felt so awful that she stayed in bed in bed for months so she stayed in the bed for different months she couldn't get out of the bed it was very difficult to walk she can't walk her doctors tried everything the doctors tried to help her to give her medicine exercise and other treatments treatments medical treatments but nothing worked except box although the doctors gave her all kinds of medicine it didn't work nothing worked except box was it easy for McKinsey to stay in bed for months no it wasn't it was very difficult to walk what did her doctor do her doctor tried everything medicine exercise and other treatments did it work did the medicine work no no it didn't work McKenzie read lots of box the box held with her stop thinking about the pain and she decided to help other children forget their pain too McKenzie read lots of box why because these box helped her stop thinking about the pain what did she decide she decided to help other children to forget their pain so she decided to help other children forget their pain too she found out about a treatment center for children nearby so she went for a center a treatment center near her house treatment center center that treats give medical treatment for all the children the center had a new library but no box in this center there is a library but no box she asked all her friends and her parents friends to give box she asked all her friends and all her parents friends to help her by giving box then she put ads ads advertisements in the newspapers and made a website McKenzie's goal was to give 300 box to the library but she soon had 3000 box and more were on the way today that number is more than 40 40000 she started an organization sheltering box now helps children in many states in the US sheltering box now helps children in many states in the USA the goal of McKenzie was to collect to give 300 box to the library but she had 3000 box today that number is more than 40000 it was a very big number now she has about 40000 box she started an organization it's called children box to help children in many states in the USA McKinsey's knee still hurts all the time. 
Her knee still hurts all the time, but she feels better because she's helping other kids with their pain. She felt better. She feels better because she's helping other kids, other children to forget their pain. Read the article, then write questions for each answer. 1. When did Mackenzie hurt her knee? 7 years ago. 2. She felt terrible. The question is, Question number two, how did she feel when she found out about RSD? How did she feel when she found out about RSD? She felt terrible. She felt too bad. Three, answer medicine, exercise, and other treatments. So what is the question? How did her doctors try to help her? How did her doctors try to help her? By giving her medicine, exercise, and other treatments. 4. They helped her forget her pain. So question number 4. Why? Why did Mackenzie Read lots of box. Why did Mackenzie read lots of box? Because they helped her forget her pain. 5. She asked her family and friends. The question, who? Who did Mackenzie ask to give box? She asked her family and friends. 6. To give 300 bucks. What was Mackenzie's goal? What was Mackenzie's goal? Number B. Number these events in Mackenzie's life from one first to seven last. So here you should put them in order from one to seven. One C. She hurt her knee. Number two. Then what happened? B. She found out about RSD. So B. This is number two. Number two. B. Three. G. She tried lots of different treatments. 3. G. 4. E. She discovered box helped her pain. She discovered box helped her pain. So number 4. E. Five. F. She asked her friends for box. Six. A. She made a website. She made a website. Seven. D. She started an organization. Again. A. Six. B, 2, C, 1, D, 7, E, 4, F, 5, G, 3. Then the end of Unit 15, Part 2. Interchange intro for sedition. Homework number one. Keep the words by heart. Number two. 
Study the video, listen and repeat. Three, answer three pages in the workbook. Four, watch the video, interchange intro, unit 15, fourth edition. Five, wish you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Wish you all good luck. Assalamu alaikum. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.